Alright everyone, so Carolina Reaper ribs. Yeah, so we've got from Asda some extreme heat Carolina Reaper pork ribs. As you can see here, it does say extreme heat. Five chilies. Though I've never really taken on board the, the chili rating. I believe because it seems to be very different from different places, so I'm not really worried too much about it. Uh, so as you can see here, yep, got marinated in fiery spices with a flaming Carolina Reaper chili sauce. I am impressed I read that because on the screen here, it is back to front. I'm impressed with myself. And likewise, you can see we have got a good amount of chili there. Some interesting herbs here, actually, that... I can have a feeling that that probably won't be on the ribs itself, but I like the look of that. That looks really nice. It looks so inviting, doesn't it? Like, eat me. That is screaming out, eat me. There. So, let's have a look. You can see the back of the box here. So, yeah. Try our flaming Hot Marinated Pork. Ooh, it's getting difficult to read that one, yeah. Ribs with a fiery Carolina Reaper chili sauce, deliciously tasty and devilishly spicy. We've that's what it looks like to me. Now we've used the hottest pepper in the world to really set your taste buds on fire. Oh boy. Okay, and as you can see here, the main things to be looking out for. I don't think that shows up really well here. Um. The main thing to be watching out for is barley. And likewise, it's up there it says slow cooked pork ribs with added water in a Carolina Reaper chili marinade with a sachet of Carolina Reaper chili sauce. Is that sauce both of them then? Does that mean we're gonna have to like try them separately, see if one's like really, really spicy on its own? Well, it's cooking at the moment. Um, so, we shall see. I've got it in the oven and I'm going to do some wedges with it as well. So, let's see how it turns out. So, let's get through to the video there, shall we?
Okay, so I don't know if you saw it in the video there. It's a very slow burn, is that? When I first tasted it and put it in my mouth, it sort of, it tastes a bit like Thai sweet chili. I suppose you could describe it like it had a sweetness to it, but a little bit more of the tangy type Thai sweet chili. But afterwards, it kind of comes out as more of a small burn. It's not even cooked at the moment. It's in that final five minutes. And I'm feeling the burn there. But it is nice. I do like that sauce. Very, very strong vinegar-like taste. Kind of like Thai sweet chili, but a little bit more tangy. With a kick. Strong kick at the back. Not as scary as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. We'll try the ribs itself. When they're done. Alright, so I've just finished off these, and they are lovely, like, they are amazing, I love these things. <clears throat> it lives up to its name of extreme heat, and it definitely is extreme heat, but it's not unbearable. It's actually, I would actually say, as weird as it sounds, that takeaway, I did a spicy takeaway with the fall and the vindaloo, I actually thought... Being honest, I actually thought the fall was a bit more spicier than this. This is probably more on the level of maybe like the Vindaloo. So it's really nice and full of flavour. Uh, I must admit, I was going to try them both separately, but obviously, as you can see, I just kind of sprinkled all the sauce on instead. Uh, all I can say is, yeah, it did not look like it did on the box, by the way, but I weren't bothered about that, obviously. And it... Yeah, lovely. I would definitely recommend to try this. If you are a fan of ribs, and you are a fan of heat, yeah, give it a try. They, there's some lovely flavour from this. And those ribs were so tender. They were really nice. It fell off the bone, which is really good for a lot of these ribs, considering how easy they were to do. Especially because they were just literally throw in the oven, put the sauce on, and they're, they're cooked. So tender, lovely. It wasn't an unbearable heat. It just had a nice... Yeah, well, as I say, it was a slow burn. It's still burning now, but I don't feel like I'm in pain. I think I have had, definitely I've had spicier things before. So, yeah, as I say, if you are a fan of either ribs or spicy heat, definitely give it a try. I, I love these. I actually really do kind of hope that they continue doing these, because, yeah, it's, it's like a win-win situation of both of them. So there you go. My nose is running. If you are new to the channel, which, considering this is quite new actually, as you probably are new to the channel, so at this point in time, please consider subscribing, please. Yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and likewise, click the notification bell. Obviously, I do more than, uh, than just food videos i kind of like to do a little bit of everything so yeah likewise please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell and i will see you on the next one laters